It's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young, old, doesn't matter. They think the old music is better. And me, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm raising the question. I, I think every generation's got its own music, and that's what I am. I'm a, you know, I'm a. It's this is a flip. If you're new to the channel, this is a flip. It's usually young people doing old music from before they were born. And I'm like, hey, aren't there any older people doing the new music of the 21st century? And so th that's the idea for the channel. So today we're going to hit up, as you saw, Krista Bell and David Lynch. So uh, David Lynch, the director. Yeah, Blue Velvet and Elephant Man, one of my favorite. Elephant Man is one of my five favorite movies from the 1980s. Oh, just a yeah, heartbreaking movie. And Christabel, I just dug into her, and guess what? I've seen her in concert. She used to be with a band called Eight and a Half Souvenirs, and they were kind of a swing band. And, yeah, believe it or not, this kind of uh, Souvenirs is a song by Django Reinhardt that they took their name from. And they opened for, are you ready for this? Iggy Pop. Now, I really enjoyed them, but they didn't set the mood for Iggy at all. It was kind of a mismatch, but I enjoyed the concert anyway. It was a club show in uh, 98, I think. It was um, the, well, anyway, I won't get sidetracked with Iggy, but uh, yeah, so I've never heard the song before, except when one of my cats stepped on the keyboard and the song started, and it took me about eight seconds to get behind this screen here and pause it. So I heard just a little bit of it by accident, but I got a couple cats like to walk across the keyboard. But anyway, if you like what I'm doing, senior reacting to the new music of the 21st century, hit that like button, bells, notifications, subscribe. You know, I feel like I feel like I'm begging, but it builds the channel and it helps every content provider get better content. So, yeah, even the ones with millions of subscribers are just begging for people to hit the subscribe button. So that's my pitch. Let's get into it. Um, this has gotten good reviews, not necessarily stellar reviews, but I'm curious. So let's go ahead and hit this up. Lyric video, by the way. Sublime Eternal Love. Turn to 
It's the lead single. You know, this song, if you try to classify it, it just didn't quite hit the mark in any regard if you, you know, because it sounded more like a demo. Um, but as lo-fi, it, it didn't quite hit the mark as a lo-fi. It was a little bit ambient, but it didn't quite hit the mark as an ambient track. Uh, certainly wasn't pop. Avant-garde, not avant-garde enough to be considered avant-garde. Um, and that bass, uh, synth bass, when it came in, uh, which was like way past the middle, it was too late and really strongly needed. And I didn't think the lyrics were spectacular. Yeah, I like almost everything I hit on this channel. You guys can watch my videos. I'm always dishing out A's, A pluses, A minuses, and sometimes a B plus, but yeah, I'm pretty generous. I try to scout the music first, make sure that I like it, because I don't want to be an old guy going, this sucks, you know? I don't want to be one of those people. Uh, but yeah, I thought the synth was just kind of basic and simple. And her voice, she was doing two two different vocals with kind of a... Remember people did rounds when you were a kid? Someone would start the song, someone else would finish the song. It's that, that thing there. Well, I didn't, th I think the vocal production was the most disappointing thing. It just didn't, you know, it just wasn't sweet in the earphones. So it's an okay track. I'm going to give it a B minus. Um, I didn't hate it. It was fine. But it's just kind of there in the middle, you know, kind of uh, on a scale of one to 10 kind of in that six range, you know, where I, I kind of liked it, but it didn't bowl me over. I'm sorry. But, you know, at least I got a video here where I, where you guys know I'm being authentic and transparent with you. I got to dislike something once in a while. And I, again, I don't dislike this, but it's kind of lukewarm, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell I'm disappointed, but no, I didn't hate it. It was fine. And um but it's not something I'm gonna play for a bedtime playlist, and you certainly can't dance to it. And you know, I'm not really sure what it's for. It doesn't work as soundtrack music. That's what I'm saying. Whatever it's all music has a purpose, right? For the feet or the hips or the heart or the head. It's like whatever this was aiming at. It just seems like every little genre I try to put it in, it just misses the mark a little bit. So that's it. Um, as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.